So today the Rays made a crazy, crazy trade, something they normally don't do, and they went out and got Nelson Cruz. I mean, that is a huge, huge, huge addition for their team, and I love the move. I love the move. They've needed that pop in the lineup, and Nelson Cruz definitely brings it, especially just that, that DH, that righty bat, and I feel like I've looked at their team. They've got a guy, bunch of guys who, like, get the job done, but Nelson Cruz was definitely something that they needed in that lineup. Just a little bit more offense, and I like the move. As, the, you know, for the Twins, they definitely got something good in return as well. You know, the pitcher, was it Joe Ryan, the number 10 pitcher in the, or number 10 prospect in the Rays organization. And the Rays organization is stacked. So to get someone in the top 10, really good pickup. He's having a good season. And the second guy that they got, Stot, Stotson, something, it's, it's like ST something. He He's having a decent season in the minors as well. So I feel like the, the Twins did fairly well to get um, two decent pitching prospects for Nelson Cruz and another prospect. So I like the deal for both sides, especially in the win now mentality for the Rays. So of course we gotta do a Nelson Cruz rebuild. I hope you enjoy it. Of course, if you do hit that thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. We're like just over a thousand subs away from 50K. Can we hit it by the end of the month? It's a week away, can we do it? And of course in the comment section down below, who's the next big name to get traded? I honestly didn't think the Rays were gonna pull the trigger on this one. Hey, but they got it done. All right, it wasn't Stotson, it was Stropman. That was who got traded from the Rays to the Twins. I knew I butchered the name. I had I had to go and look. So, okay, so with the Rays, obviously we have a team that's like pretty decent, right? Like we're, we're looking at this and we're going, dang, they're competing. I think they're one game out in the division currently. But I feel like we could do a little bit more, especially if we're looking at this team and we're just going purely off a of franchise, right? Rich Hill is going to be like a 64 by the time the season's over. Probably should replace him. With who? I'm not too sure yet. Not too sure yet. But if we're going for a win now mentality, let's kind of think about what we could do with this team just to make it a little bit better. Who would be some names kind of on the board or like who would be trade targets? And a name that I kind of constantly thought about, Danny Duffy. It shouldn't take too much to get him. Like I said, it shouldn't take too much to get him at all. There it is. Danny Duffy and the team. I want to, I want like a one and done victory here with Nelson Cruz. If we have to go season two, let's, we will. But I feel like with Nelson Cruz being 40, he's going to tank in rating. We, we got to, we got to try to win right now. Kevin Kiermeyer, another player who I don't think he gets moved this, this year. It's definitely possible, especially with the crazy amount of outfielders now. Cruz, or Rosarena, Meadows, Kiermaier, Brett Phillips, Margot. There's just, that's a lot. That's a lot to try to carry on your team. I know September you get an extra two guys on the roster, but could they move him this year? Or if they're going to, maybe this offseason? I don't know. I also don't know if Nelson Cruz would be brought back. So what I'm thinking is, let's get Kiermaier out the door. Because I feel like that's just kind of the odd guy out at this point. Especially with like Margot and Phillips. Kind of set similar players where they're more known for the glove rather than the bat. I feel like we could go out and get something else. And don't get me wrong. I think Yandy Diaz is a key piece of the team. G-Man Choi, key piece of the team. But I definitely would like to go out and get a first baseman that just kind of has that pop in the lineup. Or pop in the bat. So let's go find one. Not necessarily a name that I think will be moved this year. Jesus Aguilar. Let's bring him back to Tampa Bay. Let's give Kevin Kiermaier to the Marlins, who could potentially lose Starling Marte. As I heard, there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a clubhouse issue last night with Monte Harrison and Starling Marte. Plus, I heard Starling Marte might end up being traded anyways. One of the hotter, like names thrown out there for outfield trade pieces. So let's give them Kevin Kiermaier. Let's get Jesus Aguilar and then send them Jim Haley and just get ourselves a really good righty bat in the lineup. All right, so I think this may be a little bit too much, but maybe a reunion with Charlie Morton. I think he'll hold his rating enough to get us through the season. I looked at other possibilities as well and like Max Scherzer, but like realistically, what would they do that? I don't know if they would take a $30 million contract. I also looked at John Gray, definitely a, a name that's being thrown out there you know 29 years old still has a fairly good team control ahead of him and now i'm thinking is it better to go for the younger guy who we can hold on to because realistically who who do we have next year if you know we we, we kind of need to go up you know we kind of need to go to next year with nelson cruz still on the team so do we go john gray or charlie morton Ooh, ah man there's just such a chance that this is like a 50 50 like one's gonna do well one's not gonna do well so Let's bring Charlie Morton back. Let's bring Charlie Morton back. There we go. So we got those guys. Boom. There it is. That is who is the trade. 
or that's what the trade is going to be. Charlie Morton can kind of pop in maybe somewhere right there. We've got Waka, the bullpen, which I think I need to change up a couple guys just to get better names there. And the lineup currently looks like this, which I think looks juiced. I think it looks really good. Definitely could probably go out and get another center fielder if we really wanted to, but I feel like I'm going to leave it there. So this is going to be the team for the season. Going to change maybe a couple of these bullpen arms. Just kind of clean this up too because it's a giant mess. But I'm thinking maybe Kittredge comes up as well as maybe like Jalen. Ooh, Chirinos. Probably Chirinos and Kittredge or Fairbanks. It's going to be one of those three that come up. So we'll, I'll figure that out. It's all going to be within the team anyways. But that is going to be season one's squad. We are currently ranked 14th. I feel like we're going to do better. Let's get to draft day. All right, so the season finishes 95 and 67. We won the division, which is actually awesome. Like, that's what I was hoping for. Everything went to plan. We finished 11 games above the Yankees. Ooh, okay. We're currently ranked 10th, which, okay, fair enough. Like, I, I obviously, we're not the best team. We do have some low overall players in our starting lineup, and we don't really even have, like, a superstar, if you think about it. Like, yeah, we've got some, we've got some good names, but we don't really have a superstar, and, like, we don't really have that high of right rated players yes we have nelson cruz but is nelson cruz a, a superstar like i don't i don't know if he's considered a superstar anymore is he i don't know i don't i, I don't think he would be considered a superstar i i just it's nothing against him it's just i don't know if he's a, a super like you know kind of like a tatis a vlad jr those kind of names he does win mvp for us though so i mean the boomstick was there the boomstick was there and uh looking around the league you know, not Chris Bryant, Craig Kimbrell popping off. I see Wander in the mix for Rookie of the Year, but Kirilov took it. And okay. All right. So definitely some names kind of flipped around with the, the bullpen and everything. Chris Archer should not be here. That is that is 100% true. Um, who did they? They sent down Kittredge. Did Kittredge struggle? He definitely did. Okay. Um, Can I call him up? I can. All right. We're going to call him up. We're going to send down Archer. Um, and then let's let's take a look at this pitching staff now. So I do want to rock the extra pitcher just to have him on the team. So Fleming didn't pitch at all. McKay struggled a little bit, but okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Poche. They sent down McClanahan. I'm like, where where's my other pitcher? They sent down McClanahan, which means Poche goes down. But Poche, yeah, we don't need him. There we go. All right. I was wondering, I was like, wait a second, that's all mixed up. That's not how it's supposed to be. Now we're good to go. So boom, he goes right there. So Fleming, uh, McKay, all right, perfect. Not a, not a bad season, not a bad season. Fairbanks, decent, decent year. Only 19 innings though. Chirinos, very, very good. Love to see that. Fire Rising, very good. McHugh didn't pitch. Castillo was outstanding. And then of course, Nick Anderson's always really good. So Michael Walker got sent down. I mean, I don't hate hate the decision um definitely felt like it could have gone better i lost oliver drake to reliever uh not relievers to waivers because he was doing terrible he, he and i sent him down and some team picked him up our worst pitcher though tyler glass now who would have thought our highest rated pitcher would have been the one that struggled the most along with the youngster shane mcclanahan really that's wild that's wild um yandy got sent down excuse me that dude was an on-base machine. Why are we sending down Yandy Diaz? And who are we calling up in his spot? Uh, a pitcher. Is that something I want to do, though? Is G-Man a guy that needs to get sent down? But G-Man... Ooh, how do we handle this? Do we send down that extra pitcher? Ooh, I got to think about this before the postseason, though. Like, before we even talk about this some more. Because, like, that's... That might actually be something that I need to consider. Like, G-Man really struggled, and Yandi did really, really well. Ooh, I don't know. We'll, we'll, all right, let's see. We got Margot. We've got Zunino struggled, G-Man, and then, of course, Michael Brousseau. I think G-Man's got to go down, sadly. Um, Wendell struggled. Wendell struggled. He might need to look for a new third baseman. Austin Meadows had a great year. Nelson Cruz. Jesus Aguilar with 33 home runs. We already know Nelson Cruz won MVP. Brandon Lau, you know, not, not great, not terrible. Pretty decent year with 26 home runs. A Rosarena, solid season. Brett Phillips actually got on base at a pretty solid rate. Good average. OPS around 800. I can't ask for that much more. Wander, decent season. And, of course, Francisco Mejia. Actually, that's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. So, I think we just leave the team as is. 
I'd rather have that extra pitching. I just feel like it's going to be a little bit more necessary. And as we take on the Astros, we are not going to let McClanahan pitch. We're going to go with Glasnow, and I need the dub. We lose 5-7. to seven. Nick Anderson blew it. Did he blow it in the ninth with four runs? Our Probably our most reliable pitcher in the ninth inning. Wow. Four runs. That's unreal. That's unreal. All right, we got to run it back. We got to do a second season. That is the Yankees defeat the Cubs. That's not going to happen in real life. Um, no, Nelson Cruz retired. What? No, 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 no. I'm not letting this happen. I'm not letting this happen. We're running it back. We're running it back. I want a second season with him. I need to have him in the team. So what's going to happen is I'm going to pick up where I last saved, which was right around September. And then or well, the trade deadline probably actually. And I'm just going to sim the season. So don't worry about the stats, right? I'm just going straight into the second season. We're bringing Nelson Cruz back. I'm not having this. Okay, this time Nelson Cruz didn't retire. And we actually lost in the first round again. Um, this time to the Angels. So, like, nothing really changed. Okay, so looking at this team, Danny Duffy was was okay. Um, actually, you know, I, we're, we're kind of basing it off of what the other season was. Not what you're going to see here. Realistically, though, I probably won't bring back maybe michael walker oh nelson cruz for sure um he may not play as big as a part but he's holding down that dh spot i'll give him three mil this is his video we're making it happen all right um colin McHugh, michael walker i'm gonna think about but i think i honestly i think most of these guys were trying to i was trying to win right away um actually eight and a half mil really isn't that bad for danny duffy all his ratings went up too. I'd be down bringing him back. But um, I think Mike Zunino's got to come back too. He's been part of a team for quite some time. Even though they do have Francisco Mejia. But I feel like, you know what? He's he's part of the team, right? Did everybody come back? They did. All right. That actually kind of helps us out. So maybe... I don't know about the McKay-McClanahan combo. The, the bullpen's not a problem. But looking at the offense now, we've got... Nelson Cruz, Phillips, Mejia, Rosarena, Aguilar still there. That's great. I possibly, po I mean, Wendell did better than he did in the other one. I still might consider getting a new shortstop third baseman. Really just depends on what's available. I'm trying to win now. I'm not really approaching it as like a realistic race mindset. I kind of want to win. So if I can find a really good third baseman or shortstop, even though Joey Wendell's really good, I just, I just feel like maybe we could do a little bit better. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe a center fielder? I don't know. We'll, we'll find something. Pitching two. We got to improve this team. Okay, for season two, I'm looking at this team and I'm going like, G-Man's okay, Yandy's okay, but we could definitely do better, right? Margot is a platoon outfielder. I'm fine with Zunino backup. I'm fine with Brosso. Probably could do better, which means I could probably take someone from the lineup, move them to the bench, and then just bring in a new starting position player right so i was looking around i was like man we could go for third base like i kind of was targeting and i looked around and i was like man there definitely are some options that i've considered you know could i go crazy and be like all right cabrian hayes you know the rays and the pirates have definitely made some some trades in the past that you know worked out for the rays a little bit more so than the pirates but then you look at some of the other players that i were considering some of them brian anderson i don't know why he feels like some guy you know he's got that position flexibility he's like 28 you know some sometimes the race just bring in you know a little bit more mature players and this so all of a sudden they're just the best player i don't know like look at joey wendell he just comes out of nowhere and he's like i can i'm gonna give you a gold glove and pretty solid bat could brian anderson just need to change the scenery to really boost those power numbers up a little bit help him out a little bit so I consider Brian Anderson, I consider Chris Bryant, because if, if the Rays really wanted to go out and get Chris Bryant, like, in real life this year, they probably could. I don't know if they would, but they could. Um, and then, that was that was really about it. Um, I, I looked just to see maybe Hunter Dozier, but he was terrible. And, like, other options that I saw, I just, I just didn't really like him. So, it was that. And then I looked at, like, shortstops, and I was like, I, I don't really know who I wanted shortstop. And I looked and I looked and I was like, Eugenio? But like, again, I don't know. And then I was like, well, what about, what about like a, an outfielder that maybe could play the infield, right? Maybe someone that I just like didn't really think about. And then I was like, what about Quetzal Marte? 
in real life, the Diamondbacks probably aren't going to be competing. He becomes a free agent in a couple seasons. I, I think this contract situation is wrong. I think he actually becomes a free agent 2025. Let me let me take a look because I've, I've looked at Ketel Marte's contract so many times, but I just feel like every time I look at it, I always forget. So he's got a club option in 2023 and a club option in 2024. So it actually goes 8 mil in 2022, 10 mil in 2023, and 12 mil in 2024. I feel like if you're getting a guy who's probably one of the hotter players in baseball for that cheap, I think the Rays could possibly do that. And with the club option, it doesn't mean that they would have to keep them. And I feel with the whole pl uh, position flexibility, this could be definitely someone that helps out the Rays. And they kind of need someone that hits lefties fairly well. This like just makes too much sense. Like it just does. Who am I going to trade? Maybe a guy that I got last year, Mel Ash, in the draft. And then also... Maybe someone that I'm just not going to use this year. And maybe like Michael Brousseau. And then we throw in some other player that would make this deal possible. Like a... Who, who am I not going to use? A sh uh, Josh Lowe. I'm not going to use him this rebuild. There it is. Cattell Marte in a Rays uniform. I mean not terrible option and you're probably thinking okay well that can tell Marte doesn't really help you because he doesn't play third he doesn't no he doesn't and I, I even double checked I looked at his um his baseball reference page the last time he played third was in 2017 and he only played three games there and uh yeah that's that's about it so he definitely can't play third most of his time is at second base and in the outfield he has played shortstop quite a bit actually um that's actually his highest played position in the majors wait no way no shot it is it is yeah shortstop is his highest what really okay so i mean i guess i could put him at shortstop but realistically he could tell Marte is not a shortstop i was i was looking at his baseball reference page and then i looked at brandon Lau just to kind of get an idea of what other positions he played because i know he plays a corner outfield but i was interested to see if maybe they've ever considered moving him to third which they haven't he's been more of a second first and corner guy so that wasn't a possibility, but I still like the idea of bringing in Ketel Marte to play center field for us. I think that would be a pretty solid option. And then you still have Brett Phillips who can come off the bench, especially versus righties. Helps us out there. So what I'm thinking is we definitely need a shortstop backup now. One of these two guys is getting traded. Probably should get a left, or probably should keep G-Man Choi. I really like Yandy Diaz. He can help us out position flexibility wise. I guess it could also be Manuel Margot. Manuel Margot can get traded. Who is going to be the bench bat that we get? I just kind of want to get somebody that can really come off the bench and help us out. Who is that guy? Who is that like player that we, maybe we've never gotten before and could help us out? Is it going to be Luis Urias? It is not. I got to I gotta find somebody a little bit different. Someone, the Cubs just went out and got top two top shortstops in the offseason. Makes no sense. I got to find that guy that's just going to be just a little help off the bench. Who's it going to be? I got to find it. All right, Bobby Kennedy and Manuel Margot for Jonathan VR. It's a little bit different. It definitely is just a bench guy and it works out, right? Like they definitely just fill that that bench position. Like it's just a good platoon guy to have in the team and it'll help us out. There it is. That's what we needed. A guy that just kind of fills a bunch of positions, does the job. I like the lineup that we currently have. I'm going to double check it, make sure everything's good, but this is the team. I like this team. Um, definitely need to pick, maybe move up a Rosarena. I, I, I'll figure something out. And then, of course, when you take a look at the pitching staff, I haven't even showed you this part yet. We picked up Carlos Rodon. Okay, sorry. Rodon. Rodon. Carlos Rodon is on the team. We've got Glasnow, Duffy, Yarbrough, and McClanahan. Might need to pick somebody up at the deadline. Bullpen, I'm fully com like committed to. I think they're going to be great. I think we should be fine. And if it isn't, we can always make a trade. We've, we've got the players to make it happen. So, heading into the regular season, we are ranked 8th. This is the season. We're going to do it. We're going to somehow keep Nelson Cruz in the lineup, even at the very, very nice age. Age? No. Rating of 69. I mean, 41 years old. He's still cranking home runs. I'm happy with it. Let's get into it. I like this team. I like this team a lot. Let's see how it plays out. Finishes? I don't... I don't... I, I, it's too late to be recording. I, I just... Let's get into it. So we won the division 104 and 58. I mean, like, that's an insane season. Let's go take a look at the standings where we kind of ranked around the league. Man, the Yankees are right behind us. Holy cow. Woo. 
Ooh, okay. The Indians and the White Sox are the other teams along with the Angels. And then you've got the Mets and the Phillies, the Reds, the Dodgers, and the Padres. Okay. Looks like we have a couple league leaders. Saves. That was it. That was that was all we had. Which is uh okay, I guess. I guess that's okay. Just saves. I was kind of hoping for some offensive categories. Where was the offense, guys? Did we have like nothing this year? That'd be pretty disappointing if we did. <laughs> like, man. Okay, so Jordan, Franmil with the Mariners. Interesting. Clevenger, you've got Bieber. Okay, okay, some 42 home run. Melanson, jeez. Okay. Barnes, Nick Anderson right behind him. Dang, Barnes with 71 strikeouts in 61 innings. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for sure. What else? Corbin Carroll winning Rookie of the Year. And Spencer Torkelson. All right. Let's go take a look at our team, how everything kind of panned out. All right, so I want to see. So I know Kittredge got sent down. Like that was, that was a player that I sent down just because he was really struggling. Just it just wasn't working out. But who else was sent down? Fleming. Okay, and then it looks like Poche was called back up. All right, so we've got McKay. Okay season, right? Like definitely an okay year. Patino didn't pitch at all. Chirinos really strong season. Not as good as last year, but still very very good. Peter Fairbanks definitely struggled, but only 12 innings, so it's kind of hard to judge him off that. Fire Ryzen struggled, Poche struggled. I mean, the bullpen just actually kind of let me down. I'm not I'm not going to lie. What what happened to everybody? Um Yeah. What happened? <laughs> like what happened there? Looking at our starters, you've got Rodon who had a good season. Glasnow definitely was like, "Hey, let me show you I can actually pitch still, put it together." Duffy Yarbrough and McClanahan. That's a strong starting rotation. We just got to hope the bullpen holds it down. I don't know what happened there. Um, Yandy Diaz got sent down after having a really strong season. Hate to see it. Nelson Cruz. I know he struggled a bit, but he's part of the rebuild. We can't get rid of him. And you got G-Man Choi who definitely should struggle. So let me fix that. At least get Nelson Cruz in, right? Like he needs, it, it's his rebuild. He, he's got to be, he's got to be part of the team. Taylor Walls can get sent down and what mike ford and then bring back yandi just because yandi was actually kind of nasty so we can't we can't get rid of him just just like that so nelson cruz we'll just put him a little bit lower in the lineup that's all that's all we got to do so taking a look at the team joey wendell you know probably should have replaced him that probably should have been like goal number one but i felt like with the rest of the team we definitely could hold it down like jesus aguilar i thought was a great addition to the squad Austin Meadows normally does well. Arosa Reina doing well. Cattell Marte, 357 on base percentage, 807 OPS, 290 average. Love it. I knew he wasn't going to provide crazy power numbers, but I knew he was still going to give us a good season. Wander Franco definitely turned things around, especially with the on base percentage. Went up to 360. Francisco Mejia, yeah. And then Nelson Cruz with 20, uh, 23 home runs. I'm perfectly happy with that. So I might even bring in Zunino for the postseason. I think that might be the move like vr not a terrible bench bat to have i mean look at those numbers that's solid that's solid right yandi had a good year and then of course brett phillips even brett phillips had a really good year off the bench too so i feel like everybody played their part we're hopping into this postseason matchup against the yankees who probably the toughest team to face i'm not gonna lie this this one's gonna be a tough one all right yankees matchup i feel like this is gonna be the toughest one i had to fix the lineups because obviously there were some spots left open from cruz and diaz we had to fill those spots back up with them back in because they got sent down. I had to call them back up. But if we can win the first two, that puts us in a good spot. Come on, let's beat Garrett Cole. Boom, we sweep them. Taking on the Angels. Okay. Yarbrough can take this game. And then we'll go like this. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like this. Okay. Boom. Perfect. Game one, we do lose one to nothing. That's tough. That's tough. That's all right, though. We win the second and the third. And the fourth. McClanahan close it out for us. There we go. The Phillies or the Mets? Ooh, okay. So Phillies or Mets. So Yarbrough, let's just get our, our best pitchers. I mean, Yarbrough's doing well, but so is Duffy, McClanahan. I mean, everybody's doing really well. But this is a really good matchup. All right, here we go. Here we go. We need a good win here. We win 9-6. to six. Okay, the second game we lose. And the third. And the fourth. Ah, come on. Can we do a little reverse... Little, little reverse sweep here. That's what we need. Bam. We do. Okay. Okay. Strowman versus Glasnow. We got to make it happen. Bam. Oh, game seven. Here we come. Game seven at the trap. 
do we go McClanahan? Do we go Duffy? They've both been really, really good. Do we go Yarbrough? I, we got to give it to the Ray guy, the, the, the man who's come through the farm system. We got to give it to McClanahan against a lefty. I feel like that kind of helps out a little bit versus Lucchese. I have, a, I have a good feeling about this one. All right, so who have they added? Puig. That's, that's it. That's the only player that they added. Two-run home run for Big Meat Pete. Not ideal. Not ideal. But with the bases loaded, Aguilar brings in one. The fielder's choice there. Can we get the sack fly? At least tie it up, right? And then Nelson Cruz grounds out. But that's okay. At least we tied it back up. That's exactly what we needed. It's a good place to start. Even rather than being from behind. Hit pitch. Yandy, bring him in. Double play. No. No. Base is loaded. We got to take advantage of that, guys. We, get, we got to. We can't let them. Exactly. Because what's going to happen? We're going to be put in a tough situation. And um, versus a bunch of lefties. Gets one out. He gets he gets out of it. At least only one run scored. Like that's that's big. Only one run came in. Wander bringing the tying run. Come on, a double play. Get, I can't I can't keep him in. I can't keep him in. Um, Chirinos double play. That was big. That was big. Um, Austin Meadows singles. Brandon Lau hit by pitch. Nelson Cruz, you got a chance. Two run single. That is huge. Chirinos, just keep the lead, and we're good to go. Keep the lead, we're good to go. Runners at the corners. Okay, seventh inning. Chirinos, I still have faith in you. Perfect. Let's get something going here. Brandon Lau, thank you. Nelson Cruz goes back to back. Ooh. Okay, I'm feeling some sort of way right now. All righty. Um, eighth inning. Let's go to our guy, Diego Cast. Diego Castillo, come on. No, 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 no. Please, please, please calm down. Don't do this to me. Don't, don't give me a heart attack right now. All right, ninth inning. It's all but closed out, right? 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 There it is. The Rays win the World Series. Nelson Cruz, I unplug my headphones. I'm excited. There we go. That's the World Series. Whew. Jesus Aguilar back in Tampa gets that World Series MVP and the playoff MVP. There we go. Let's take a look at this squad, how everybody did. Danny Duffy, solid 17 innings. Yarborough, nine innings. Carlos Rodon, Rodon, whatever you want to say. Struggled a little bit. 23 innings, though. He got the job done. Same thing with Glasnow. McClanahan did his job. You look at the bullpen, for the most part, everybody held it down. There are a couple couple eyesores here and there, but that's I don't care. They, they got the job done. We won the World Series. Four home runs for Aguilar. Meadows had six. A Rosarena struggled a little bit. Marte. No home runs, but a good average. Looks like he got on base quite quite a bit. Wander, Zunino, and then three home runs from Nelson Cruz with a crucial two RBI single and then the home run. He he basically won it for us in game seven. Like that was that was all about Nelson Cruz, the vet, 41 years old, 61 overall. He did it for us. So there it is. There it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The Rays Nelson Cruz rebuild. Whew, we brought a World Series in two years. I feel like he's going to retire. I'll just head to the offseason just to see if he does retire. I would assume he did. He actually did. There it is. So perfect timing. Perfect timing. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. Again, so close to 50K. I can taste it. Let's see if we can hit it by the end of the month. And in the comment section, let me know who's that next big name that's getting moved. It's got to be a Cubs player, right? I feel like that's. it's just trending that way. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.